Hey guys, so welcome to this session. And I'm sorry we had some issues with the previous session, so I've got it removed so that we guys can we can start afresh, right? We have to start without any issues. Okay, so if you guys are ready, let's begin with this lecture. I hope everything is streaming correctly now. Welcome to the cardiovascular physiology series. And the topic right now that we are going to be doing is called as cardiac cycle. It's called as cardiac cycle. Now this topic, it's one of the most important topics that you will be doing, right? For the next three years, right? The reason is in itself, CVS physiology, it's so important. And on top of that, on top of that, cardiac cycle it will form the basis it will form the basis of everything else it will form the basis of everything else that you guys are going to be doing okay so what is the cardiac cycle you have to understand and you have to understand it in one go and once you understand that only then you will be able to understand heart sounds okay heart sounds also you have basic heart sounds then you have to understand murmurs so again you will require a knowledge of cardiac cycle after that there is something called as the vigors diagram Vigors diagram. So to understand that again, you will require the knowledge of cardiac cycle. So I am saying cardiac cycle is very, very important, right? By itself, it can come as a question. You can get a question in your prof examination that cardiac cycle ke mein likho, right? So at 6 p.m. I have scheduled this class and at 6.30 p.m. I have scheduled this class, right? So let's begin with the cardiac cycle on Let's Crack Neat PG, the YouTube channel for an academy or Neat PG division. My name is Chaitanya Mittal. I am currently pursuing my MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. And you guys can download the Unacademy Learning application. Uh, the invite code that you guys can use is Chaitanya10. You guys can use this invite code Chaitanya10 to unlock the free plan on Unacademy, right? So you will be able to access all the free content on Unacademy. And why I'm asking you to do that is because we have the top educators teaching live for us on an academy and they are taking plus courses as well as free of cost special classes for you guys we are a one stop solution for neat pg preparation nobody is doing all of this he can nobody has doubt clearing sessions nobody is providing you live classroom experience right you will be getting tests you will be getting regular tests weekly tests with lots of participants and one of the advantages i feel is guys you can watch the lecture on your laptop right you can watch the lecture on your smart TVs by connecting it with an HDMI or you can watch YouTube on your smart TVs. And the advantage is that you are not straining your eyes too much. Okay, so that is one advantage. And we have batches for NEET PG, we have batches for INICT, we have batches for NEXT, we have batches for FMG, right? So there are over 34,000 MCQs for you guys to attend and you guys can do that as best as possible. And an academy it's going to provide you flexibility the language of your choice and unlimited practice as much as you want so just download the app we have two subscriptions one is the unacademy plus and the other is the unacademy iconic in the iconic subscription you are also going to get a id password to prep ladder okay for the same duration where you'll get the video lectures with updated question bank 3.0 ri guys Ab pe 2.0 likha, but you'll also get access to 3.0 rapid revision courses and handwritten notes you'll get all of that included in the iconic subscription so i say go for the iconic subscription we have a limited time offer going on you have to use my referral code chaitanya 10 and you will be eligible for over a 33 percent discount okay one third price discount chal hai. and what was earlier for 92,000, you will get it for 58.5 thousand okay what was earlier for 77,000? You will get for 49.5 thousand and what was earlier for 55 thousand you will get for almost 40 thousand right so you can take these plans and you can apply my referral code we also have a three plus one offer going on on the plus subscription okay plus is just an academy and you can see you can take the one year plan for 25 thousand two year plan for 36 thousand and three year plan for 48 thousand again use my referral code here for a 10 percent off okay so today's topic is Cardiac cycle. Cardiac cycle. Shall we start? Cardiac cycle. Okay. Cardiac cycle may the first very basic. So we'll build from the base and then we'll go to the we'll climb the mountain. Right. So if somebody asks me, he explain the cardiac cycle in two words. Explain the cardiac cycle in two words. Systole, diastole. 
सिस्टोल डायस्टोल सिस्टोल डायस्टोल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन रिलैक्सेशन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन रिलैक्सेशन राइट सो द पंपिंग एक्शन इज कॉल्ड एज द सिस्टोल राइट वेर एवर देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी कॉल्ड एज सिस्टोल वेर ब्लड इज गोइंग टू बी पुस्ट आउट and diastole is nothing but the phase in which there is going to be relaxation so since it is relaxing that is called as diastole theek hai or in other words whenever you are going to increase the pressure it is going to be called as systole and whenever you are going to decrease the pressure of the chamber it's going to be called as diastole right very simple definition when you increase the pressure it is systole and when you decrease the pressure it is diastole right so it is related to the pressure theek hai that's clear so when do i call it atrial systole when do i call it atrial systole okay when i call it atrial systole when the pressure in the atria is rising when the pressure in the atria is rising that will be called as atrial systole similarly when do i call it ventricular systole when the pressure of the ventricles is rising that is called as ventricular systole theek hai and with respect to the body your ventricles are the ones that are going to be taken as a reference theek hai so that is the basic part that you guys need to develop a concept of hai na ye basic concept ban gaya so everything else is sorted everything else is going to be very much sorted theek hai right now we haven't discussed we haven't discussed the conduction system of the heart okay so you don't know how impulse is generated but you can still understand a few basics and that will not need any other information theek hai so my question to you before we begin the session first question before we begin the session is what is the duration of cardiac cycle what is the duration of cardiac cycle this is an mcq for you guys what is the duration what is the duration of cardiac cycle tell me what is the duration of cardiac cycle waiting for a response from your end okay so the first thing that you have to understand is that cardiac cycle it does not have any fixed duration any fixed duration okay so some of you might pounce to the answer as 0.8 seconds and you might say 0.8 seconds theek okay, hai that's wrong the answer is can't say because the duration of the cardiac cycle it depends on heart rate it depends on heart rate it is inversely proportional to heart rate so what i can say is if the heart rate is 72 then the duration is going to be 0.8 then the duration is going to be 0.8 so please don't make this mistake of thinking that it is always 0.8 because if i increase the heart rate that duration will change if the heart rate is let's say for example if the heart rate is 60 then the duration of the cardiac cycle is 1 second right so now a question arises what is the effect of exercise what happens in exercise to the cardiac cycle so this is directly from your guyton this is directly from your guyton only that if the heart rate during exercise it's you all know that heart rate it increases because the body needs more blood so guyton says if the heart rate becomes thrice of normal thrice of normal so thrice of normal would approximately mean 216 216 so let's say the heart rate is almost almost 200 so what happens then it is said then it is said that the duration of systole becomes 0.65 times the duration of cardiac cycle which means that 60% of the cardiac cycle will be by the systole okay normally what happens if you look at the atrium if you look at the ventricle if you look at the atrium and if you look at the ventricle systole in the atrium it lasts for 0.1 second and the diastole it lasts for 0.8 seconds right Oh, sorry 0.7 seconds so atria they are going to relax more and contract less whereas ventricles also they are also going to relax more and contract less but their systole is for 0.3 seconds and their diastole is for 0.5 seconds out of which 0.4 seconds is joint diastole 0.4 seconds 
both the atria and both the ventricles are relaxing so if i give you an idea if i give you an idea if i add the atrial systole and the ventricular systole in a normal heart in a normal heart almost 50% of the time the heart is pending in systole okay so in a normal cardiac cycle you are giving 0.4 seconds for systole and 0.4 seconds for diastole right but if the heart rate is more almost 65% is going for for systole which means that you have decreased the duration of diastole very much right so important question or statement that can come from here is that during exercise or an increase in heart rate reduces the duration of diastole more as compared to duration of systole right so because of that when you are going to do that if in case of exercise or other conditions where heart rate is increasing you are reducing the filling of the heart the heart it will get filled up less the heart it will get filled up less so that's the important thing here okay so when you talk about the cardiac cycle it has two components it has an electrical component and it has a mechanical component it has a electrical component as well as it has a mechanical component so the electrical component it says that the heart it has to start in the sa node right then it has to impulse has to go to av node then via the bundle of his it will go to the bundle branches bundle of his then left and right bundle branch and after that it will go to the purkinje fibers and ultimately end up in the ventricle ultimately it will distribute to the ventricle that's the electric cardiac cycle that's the electrical cardiac cycle what is the mechanical cardiac cycle that is what we are going to study we are not going to study right now the electrical cardiac cycle we'll have a separate lecture for the electrical events in the cardiac cycle so mechanical cardiac cycle we have to see separately for atria and for ventricles for atria and for ventricles so to understand the cardiac cycle we will make a cake we will make a cake or a donut okay so i call this the donut of cardiac cycle donut of cardiac cycle so you can make out this is sort of a pie chart or a pie diagram where the cardiac cycle has been represented so let's understand the donut of cardiac cycle yaar bhook lag gayi isi baat se hai na aajkal chandigarh mein it's a complete lockdown तो सब डिलीवरी बेसिस पे है बाहर जाने का मन बहुत देर से हो रहा है बट जा नहीं पा रहे राइट सो लेट्स लुक एट दिस लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो द फर्स्ट बेसिक थिंग दैट आई टोल्ड यू दैट इनसाइड ये जो येलो सर्कल बना हुआ है दैट इज रिगार्डिंग एट्रिया सो एट्रियल सिस्टोल लास्ट फॉर पॉइंट वन सेकेंड एंड द एट्रियल डायस्टोल इट लास्ट फॉर पॉइंट सेवन सेकेंड राइट आफ्टर द एट्रियल सिस्टोल सो वॉट इज द प्रोग्रेशन इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोग्रेशन वॉट हैपन्स लेट्स ड्रॉ इट इन अ let's help you construct this donut so what happens if you look at the atria let's draw it with purple the atria it remains in systole for 0.1 second for 0.1 second and then atria it goes in a diastole atria it goes in a diastole atrial diastole it lasts for 0.7 seconds now when so i'll divide this into eight parts i'll divide this into eight parts hai na हो गया डिवाइड एट पार्ट्स में राइट सो दिस इज वन पार्ट दिस इज ऑब्वियसली वन पार्ट सो नाउ इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस व्हेन द एट्रिया इज इन सिस्टोल व्हेन द एट्रिया इज इन सिस्टोल व्हाट हैपेंस टू द वेंट्रिकल्स द वेंट्रिकल्स दे आर रिलैक्सिंग एट दैट टाइम वेंट्रिकल्स दे आर रिलैक्सिंग एंड वंस द एट्रिया स्टॉप कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग द वेंट्रिकल्स दे विल स्टार्ट देयर कॉन्ट्रैक्शन द वेंट्रिकल्स दे विल स्टार्ट देयर कॉन्ट्रैक्शन सो वेंट्रिकुलर सिस्टोल इट लास्ट्स फॉर ventricular systole it lasts for 0.3 seconds theek hai shiv patel don't worry i am going to make cvs physiology very easy very basic for you theek hai just watch this lecture once or twice read it from gaitan you will be able to understand everything theek hai don't be scared of anything because when we get a fear of something we are not able to overcome it sometimes right and the ventricular diastole it starts after this so the ventricular diastole it goes on for 0.5 seconds right understood what the donut is basic donut systole diastole right so what is the duration in which the heart is completely relaxing that is the atria are also relaxing and the ventricles are also relaxing that is this line here right so 0.4 seconds is 
joint diastole. 0.4 seconds is joint diastole when both atria and ventricles are relaxing, right? So that is what is shown in this image. That is what is shown in this image. Atrial systole means atrial contraction begins. Okay, after that you have ventricular systole, which has three phases, right? Or we generally say two phases and the second phase is divided into two, right? Or for simplicity, sometimes we call it three phases, right? You will see that people also say three phases. Okay, then you have diastole, then you have diastole. So you have atria is completely in diastole and then you have, then you have complete ventricular diastole, which itself has five phases, which itself has five phases. So we will go through all the phases individually, right? We'll go through all these phases individually and we'll understand what is happening in the heart. Okay. Shift gets confused in blood pressure concepts. I will schedule a lecture where I will discuss short term regulation of blood pressure, long term regulation of blood pressure and shock. These three topics are the most important in BP. So we will clear the concept. There is no problem. Okay. We have started with the heart. We will go to blood pressure. No issues. Okay. So first thing that you have to understand is systole. Systole, right? Now, systole, very, very important thing. Systole, when you talk about here, we are mainly talking about the, when we say systole, we obviously mean ventricular systole because it is with respect to the body. It is with respect to the body. And you are going to have two phases in the systole. The second phase is further subdivided. So we generally say three phases. Guyton says three phases. So we'll consider three phases of systole, which is easy to remember. Okay, so stole is for 0.3 seconds and how many phases does it have? It has three phases. Not a very difficult observation to make, right? Vector, okay, I'll take a, ha, ha. when I teach you ECG, I'll also tell you the axis of the heart. That is what you mean by vector, na? The leads, everything, and now a cardiac axis ka wo hota hai, that I'll do. Here, Atharva, I don't know about GK Pal. I have personally never gone through GK Pal as a book, right? And... Uh, but I feel that for cardiovascular physiology, if you have to get your concepts up to date, it is Guyton is the book. Okay, Guyton is the book to go for. Okay, so now we are going to understand the first thing that what is happening in the heart. So let's make a diagram of the heart. Let's make a diagram of the heart. Hey or what we will do is we will insert a schematic diagram of the heart. And then we will do all our game in that. We'll play our games in that. Okay. So let's insert a diagram. This is a very schematic diagram, right? So you can see that you have the superior vena cava here, inferior vena cava here, right atrium, right ventricle, then blood goes to pulmonary iota. Then it comes back from the pulmonary veins to the left atrium from where it goes to the left ventricles and then it goes to the iota, right? So the flow of blood is very simple. It's coming from here, going here, going here, going to the lungs, going to the pulmonary veins, coming to the left atrium, left ventricle and out from the iota, out from the iota, right? So I have cleared that. And now you have to also understand the valves. Where are the valves located, right? Where are the valves located? So you have valves that are present. You have valves that are present. First valve is present here. That is the tricuspid valve. Why is it called tricuspid valve? It has three cusps, right? Then you have a bicuspid valve here. Okay. So this is called as tricuspid valve. This is called as bicuspid or also called as mitral valve. Also called as mitral valve. Okay. So that is important to know. Then what are the valves above? Here you have the pulmonary valve. And here you have the aortic valve together they are called as semi-lunar valves. So these are called as AV valves. The ones I have drawn in red they are AV valves and the ones I have drawn in purple are semi-lunar valves. So when you start systole, when you start systole, you have to understand one thing. You have to understand one thing that systole when it begins, you have isovolumetric contraction. Now what is the meaning of isovolumetric and so TK? There are two kinds of quantities. One is volume, one is pressure, right? So since contraction is going on or I've said systole is going on, one thing is very obvious. All the time, the pressure will increase. All the time, the pressure will increase, right? But the volume, it is initially going to be constant. 
and then it will increase initially it will be constant and then it will increase okay so for volume to increase so for volume to increase right sorry volume is constant and then it will later decrease in contraction right it is going to decrease because we are going to compress it okay so it will later decrease right in diastole it will increase so here look have, have a look here what is happening here is this valve is also closed i will not make this valve like this i will make it like a single switch i will make it like a single switch okay initially what happens the aortic valve it is also closed and this valve it is also closed left atrium the valve is also closed so when does this valve close when does this valve close this closes just before the start of systole right so if somebody asks you when does av valve close when do av valves close your answer should be just before just before isovolumetric contraction just before iso volumetric contraction no other answer is acceptable okay your answer should not be iso volumetric contraction it should be just before iso volumetric contraction okay so av valves they are closed when the ventricular pressure it's all a game of pressures you see it's all a game of pressure okay so your left atrium there will be some pressure let's say let's call it pressure in the atrium okay or let's call it pressure in the left atrium let's call this pressure in the left ventricle and let's call this pressure in the aorta right so when the pressure when these valves are open pressure in the left atrium was more pressure in the left atrium was more so what was happening blood was coming down blood was coming down blood was coming down blood was coming down right blood was coming down but then what happened the ventricle started to contract and when the ventricle started to contract their pressure increased their pressure increased so what happened there was a door here there was a door here and that door was the mitral valve so imagine this door is like this so when pressure comes from here it will close this door it is going to close this door so just before isovolumetric contraction you have the closure of av valve similarly that will happen on the right side also what i am telling you on the left side will also happen on the right side theek okay? hai so av valves when do they close just before isovolumetric contraction the ventricles they are going to continue to contract they are going to continue to contract right but the pressure in the aorta the pressure in the aorta here baseline pressure what is your bp your bp is 120 by 80 right so pressure in aorta it never goes below 80 it never goes below 80 but right now what is the pressure in the ventricles what is the pressure in the ventricles any idea what is the pressure in the ventricles right now what is the pressure in the ventricles anyone anyone theek okay. hai so still the pressure in the ventricles is less than 80 it's less than 80 so when the pressure in the ventricles till the time it reaches 80 this valve remains closed it is not able to open right but the moment it crosses 80 the moment it crosses 80 this valve will open this valve will open and then you will have the flow of blood to the aorta you will have flow of the blood to the aorta and the pressure it will rise from 80 to 120 and this valve will remain open okay so what happened what happened you first had an isovolumetric contraction so when the pressure in the ventricle it was increasing and both valves were closed so this is a closed system this is a closed system this is a this entire thing it is a closed system there is nothing that is there there is nothing that is there there is no scope for the volume to change there is no scope for the volume to change because dekho yahan pe wall hai yahan pe wall hai to blood ka volume utna hi rahega theek hai volume it cannot change because it is closed right but when this wall opens the volume it suddenly starts to decrease the volume it suddenly starts to decrease because the volume of the ventricle is being sent to the aorta the volume of the ventricle is being sent to the aorta the blood is being pushed out right so that is the concept so till the time the volume remains same that is called as isovolumetric contraction and after that you have a period of ejection after that you have a period of ejection kaiten divides period of ejection into two phases okay the initially when it is forcefully contracting and opening the valve it is rapid it is very rapid the ejection is very rapid and this pumps out 70% of the blood this pumps out 70% of the blood and that occurs during the first one third of the period of ejection theek hai let's say the period of ejection let's say it is lasting for 0.3 second okay let's say for example then the rapid ejection will be for 0.1 second and the slow ejection it will be for 0.2 second theek hai uske baad dheere dheere ventricle 
it loses its momentum and then only 30% of the blood is pumped in the last 0.2 seconds or the two third of the duration. Okay, clear. So what are the phases of systole? What are the three phases of systole? If you quickly summarize it, if you quickly summarize it, there are three phases of systole. One, two, and ejection is further divided, right, into rapid and slow. So this is second phase. This is third phase, right? So you understood that systole, understood the systole, right? Now, now the question is, what is the duration? What is the duration of isovolumetric contraction? It is 0 0.02 to 0 0.03 seconds. It's almost negligible. 0.02 to 0 0.03 seconds. But this is very important. It's very important. And the period of ejection, it's almost 0.3 seconds. So rapid filling is for rapid ejection is for 0.1 second and slow ejection is for 0.6. Okay. Got it. So stole is clear. Can we move to diastole? Diastole. Did you understand systole in a different way? Were you able to develop a uh, volume and pressure approach to cardiac cycle? Right. Now, once you understand systole, diastole is very easy to understand. Diastole is very easy to understand. Diastole, again, it has broadly three phases, right? But this is lasting for 0.5 seconds. So, we have divided it into how many phases? Five phases. We have divided it into five phases. So, what are the total number of phases? Three plus five, eight phases. What is the duration if the heartbeat is? 72.8 seconds. How many phases? 8 phases duration 0.8 seconds provided heartbeat is 72. Provided heartbeat is 72. Right. So what is the first phase in diastole? What is the first phase in diastole? What is the meaning of proto? Proto means first. Proto means first. So initially you have a phase in the diastole called as proto diastole. You have a phase called as proto diastole. Understood first phase is proto diastole right proto diastole is what happens when the heart just starts to relax it just starts to relax it is the early part of ventricular relaxation okay so till when do you have proto diastole now see again we will go to the this diagram and see what is going to happening so now the blood is filled in the iota you have enough blood in the iota right so let's draw the relaxation curve right now so what is the state? This valve, it is closed. This valve, it is closed right now. You know, this valve is closed and this valve is open. This valve is open, right? So blood is flowing. And here, what is the pressure? It has reached 120, right? Now, once the ventricles, they stop contracting, they relax. This pressure, it will gradually start to fall. It will gradually start to fall, right? And when the pressure in the iota, when the pressure in the iota becomes, becomes greater than that of the ventricle becomes greater than that of the ventricle. Okay. So there is going to be backflow. There is going to be backflow and that will close the aortic valve. That will close the aortic valve. And when the aortic valve, it gets closed, right? It gets closed here. So it will again make a sound and we'll talk about it in the heart sounds, right? So aortic valve, it is getting closed, which means basically the semilunar valves, they are going to close and that closure marks the end of protodiastole. So till when do you have protodiastole? It is the phase in which there is closure of semilunar valves. Closure of semilunar valves. So if somebody asks you when do atrioventricular valves close? Just before isovolumetric contraction. When does semilunar valve close? Just before isovolumetric relaxation. And the name for that is protodiastole. Right? After that you will have similar to because see again the condition is very similar okay you have again closure of both valves okay this valve is also closed this valve is also closed right so now the ventricles they will relax and again the volume cannot change because it is a closed system so that is called as isovolumetric relaxation okay Atharva is saying can i please repeat it okay so let's repeat it let's take a different diagram for that 
let's take a new diagram you know, so that you guys can understand better let's take a Okay, let's bring back that diagram only. Okay. Or let's just draw only the left side of the heart. Let's let's not draw the right side only. So what I'm drawing here, this is the left atrium. Okay. Connected to it, you have the left ventricle. Okay. I'm not drawing the right side for now. Okay. In between them, you have a valve that is the bicuspid or the mitral valve. Okay. So I'll just label it left atrium left ventricle and this is the bicuspid valve and it is closed it is closed right from here you have the starting of iota right here you have the iota and in the iota you have a valve here and that valve is also that valve right now it is open that valve right now it is open because you were having ejection because you were having ejection so that valve is open and you have 120 mm of hg here you have 120 mm hg blood pressure here right now the ventricles now the ventricles they start to relax they start to relax okay so when they are relaxing the pressure inside it is falling the pressure inside it is falling so when the pressure is falling in the left ventricle you are creating a vacuum you are creating a vacuum to pull back the blood from iota so this blood it will flow from so remember everything flows from high pressure to low pressure high pressure to low pressure so this blood it will have a tendency to come back it will have a tendency to come back to the heart but your valves they come into play so now your valves they are going to close your valves they are going to close and this what happens till the time the valves are closing that is called as protodiastole that is called as protodiastole and when the blood comes back when the blood comes back it comes back like this and it makes a noise understood can you feel it the blood it is falling back and the valves they are immediately stopping it so that is making a noise right so that is what is happening in the cardiac cycle in the proto diastole right and now what happens now what happens the entire heart the entire heart the both the both these valves are closed this valve is also closed and this valve is also closed so now when the ventricles relax the volume will not change and that will be isovolumetric relaxation that will be isovolumetric relaxation and that will last for 0.3 to 0.6 seconds right after isovolumetric relaxation what happens what happens so the ventricles they keep on relaxing and when they keep on relaxing what will happen eventually this valve will open this valve it will become open why because the ventricles they have relaxed so they are creating a pressure and they are pulling this valve down they are pulling this valve down so blood it can flow it can flow from the pulmonary veins to the left atrium and to the left ventricle so that is going to be ventricular filling that is going to be called as ventricular filling and ventricular filling it is divided into three phases it is divided into three phases rapid slow and atrial kick rapid slow and atrial kick so what are the five phases of diastole i hope you guys can now make out five phases of diastole first phase is proto diastole second phase is isovolumetric relaxation third phase is rapid filling rapid ventricular filling then you have slow ventricular filling and finally you have atrial kick when you have atrial kick i'll just tell you what are these phases i'll just tell you what are these phases right so look at this ventricular filling in the rapid phase almost 50 percent of the ventricular filling is occurring almost 50 percent of the ventricular filling it is occurring in the rapid phase rapid phase basically means that atria they are not contracting right now the blood it is coming immediately because blood was accumulating all this while in the left atrium because this valve was closed lot of blood it had collected here so immediately when the valves will open everything will come down very fast so that is called as rapid filling then you have a phase called as slow filling that means that the blood is trickling down and in that 30 percent of the blood comes right and after that the atria they contract for 0.1 seconds and they send 20 percent extra blood they send 20 percent extra blood right and that is called as atrial kick atria is kicking the blood ki bhai ja ventricle mein ja right and this atrial kick is contributing 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ब्लड सो इफ यू लुक एट इट द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द एट्रिया इट इज ओनली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द फिलिंग तो अगर एट्रिया काम ना भी करे तो एट्टी परसेंट काम हो जाएगा एट्टी परसेंट काम हो जाएगा अगर इवन इफ द एट्रिया दे आर नॉट कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग इवन इफ द एट्रिया दे आर नॉट कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ अर वर्क इज बींग डन एट्रिया आर ओनली कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग एडिशनल ट्वेंटी परसेंट गाइटन डेटा ऑल डेटा इज फ्रॉम गाइटन ओके ओके सो नाउ यू अंडरस्टूड द एट फेजेस वॉट इज हैपनिंग डायस्टोल ओके हार्ट इज गेटिंग फिल्ड अप फर्स्ट प्रोडो डायस्टोल फॉलोड बाय आईसो वॉल्यूमेट्रिक रिलैक्सेशन फॉलोड बाय रैपिड वेंट्रिकुलर फिलिंग फॉलोड बाय स्लो फिलिंग ऑफ वेंट्रिकल्स फॉलोड बाय एट्रियल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन और एट्रियल किक फॉलोड बाय फॉलोड बाय आईसो वॉल्यूमेट्रिक कॉन्ट्रैक्शन फॉलोड बाय रैपिड इजेक्शन फॉलोड बाय स्लो इजेक्शन यस नो नो एट्रियल किक इज एक्जैक्टली सेम एज एट्रियल सिस्टोल इट इज कोरिस्पॉन्डिंग टू एट्रियल सिस्टोल एट्रियल सिस्टोल इज बेसिकली द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड एट्रियल किक इज जस्ट अ इवेंट दैट इज डिस्क्राइब इन वेंट्रिकुलर फिलिंग राइट वेंट्रिकल जो फिल हो रहा है उसे कह रही है एट्रियल किक और वो फिल क्यों हो रहा है बिकॉज द एट्रिया इज अंडर गोइंग सिस्टोल अंडरस्टूड सो इफ आई ड्रॉ इफ आई ड्रॉ अ डायग्राम इफ आई ड्रॉ अ डायग्राम दैट एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग राइट सो आई विल ट्राई टू पुट इन पुट इन अ जिफ यूर राइट ठीक है सो आई होप यू आर एबल टू सी दिस कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट आई यू एबल टू सी द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट आई यू एबल टू सी वॉट्स हैपनिंग ठीक है सो एज यू कैन मेक आउट फॉर पॉइंट वन सेकेंड वॉट हैपन्स फॉर पॉइंट वन सेकेंड वॉट हैपन्स वॉट हैपन्स फॉर पॉइंट वन सेकेंड पॉइंट वन सेकेंड सो दिस इज नीचे जो डायग्राम बना हुआ है विगर्स डायग्राम दैट्स कॉल्ड इज द विगर्स डायग्राम वील हैव अ डिटेल्ड लेक्चर ऑन इट सो जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन साइकिल एट्रीआर कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग वेंट्रिकल इज रिलैक्सिंग वेंट्रिकल इज कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग ब्लड इज गोइंग टू एउटा कमिंग बैक टू द एट्रिया अगेन बींग पंप सो इट्स इज सम वॉट लाइक दिस इज द मूवमेंट दिस इज द मूवमेंट राइट सो अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग फॉर सम टाइम you can make out can you make out this valve here can you make out this is the valve can you make out the closure and the opening of the valve can you make out the closure and the opening of the valve here right see this is the this is the tricuspid valve this is the tricuspid valve this is the which valve this is the which valve are you able to see here this is going to the pulmonary trunk so you are able to see the semi lunar valve ठीक है सो जस्ट ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग दिस इज जस्ट टू गिव यू अ विजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ द कार्डियक साइकिल जस्ट टू गिव यू अ विजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ द कार्डियक साइकिल ठीक है विल फाइंड लॉट यूल फाइंड लॉट ऑफ एनिमेशन विल फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन यूट्यूब वेर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द कार्डियक साइकिल अ लिटिल बेटर इन अ एनिमेशन राइट सो इफ आई क्विकली ट्राई एंड एक्सप्लेन टू यू ऑन अ फिगर इफ आई ट्राई एंड एक्सप्लेन टू यू ऑन अ figure so we'll quickly draw the major things superior vena cava inferior vena cava right atrium kya ban gaya right atrium then left atrium you have the pulmonary veins coming in right here what do you have you have the ventricles right ventricle left ventricle in between them you have a septa in between them you have a septa right and arising from here you have two important vessels one is the pulmonary trunk going to the lungs and then you have the aorta going to the body right here you have another small opening that is the valve 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 right first what is happening blood is filling up in the atria in the atria what is happening during the atrial diastole blood is filling up in the atria right then then this valve is open you will have filling of the ventricles right first you have rapid filling first you have rapid filling then you have slow filling and finally the atria contract and you get the atrial kick so then the ventricles they get filled up ventricles they get filled up in the ventricles they are going to start their systole so initially when they are going to contract when they are going to contract there is going to be shutting of the av valve av valve will shut shut down so that the blood it does not go why do the av valves close why do the atrioventricular valves close why do the atrioventricular valves close the reason is that 
if the atrioventricular valves they don't close when the right ventricle or when the left ventricle it contracts the blood will go back to the atria right instead of going here it will go here so that is why the valves have to close before contraction of the ventricle starts so av valves they will close before isovolumetric contraction right so that is going to happen so you will have isovolumetric contraction after closure of valves followed by rapid ejection and slow ejection so what are the phases first what happens what are the events that are happening in the cardiac cycle please try and understand this what are the events that are happening first thing that happens so let's start with the filling of the ventricles let's start with the filling of the ventricles so right now what is open av valves they are open av valves they are going to be open so if av valves are open blood can flow from the atria to the ventricles so first there is going to be rapid filling of ventricles okay 50% of the blood then you will have slow filling of the ventricles 30% of the blood then the atria they will contract you will get the atrial kick 20% of the blood after this what happens after this what happens the next step the ventricles now they want to contract because they have collected all the blood because the ventricles they have collected the blood the ventricles want to contract so now they will undergo isovolumetric contraction but before they contract these av valves which were initially open they have to close so av valve closes av valve closes right and after av valve closes you have isovolumetric contraction isovolumetric contraction it is followed by period of ejection so first you have rapid ejection followed by slow ejection followed by slow ejection now after a slow ejection what occurs after slow ejection what occurs so when isovolumetric contraction when it ends right when it ends here you have the opening of semi lunar valve here you have the opening of semi lunar valve that is why you are able to have rapid ejection opening of semi lunar valve right so how many phases have we written we have written six phases right six phases so after these six phases what is going to happen after slow ejection you are going to have proto diastole you are going to have proto diastole and at the end of proto diastole you will have closure of semi lunar valves followed by isovolumetric relaxation followed by opening of av valves so here the semi lunar valves close semi lunar valve close so i'll write it with proto diastole only understood everything each and everything one one thing of the cardiac cycle all the phases what is happening what is the mechanism right pranav raheja i'll definitely cover the ecg ecg is going to be my main focus when i'm doing cvs physiology the lecture is scheduled for sunday okay the lecture is scheduled for sunday so kindly keep your sundays free we are going to discuss ecg limb leads how the various waves are formed okay all of that okay so there are a few curves how does the pressure in atria look like so we'll do this when we are doing the wiggers diagram we'll talk about this when we do the wiggers diagram okay don't worry about this right now don't worry about this right now okay so let's first focus on the vp diagram this is called as the volume pressure diagram it's very important to understand how the heart works if you remember your class 11 class 12 we used to draw, draw a curve called as a pressure volume curve to determine the work done by a engine hai na we used to calculate the work done by an engine do you guys remember when we used to calculate the work done by an engine hai na carnot cycle remember that carnot cycle we used to do something like that so we used to calculate the work done by an engine so similarly here we are draw, drawing a curve and that curve is between the volume of the left ventricle and the pressure of the left ventricle so this is called as a volume pressure curve this is called as a volume pressure curve on the y axis here i am drawing pressure on the x axis here you are drawing volume okay so let's say the initial volume the initial volume after the end of systole after the end of systole when the ventricle is empty let's say it is 50 ml let's say it is 50 ml okay then what happens the atria they start to fill the ventricle they start to fill the ventricle so ventricle is going to get filled so when the ventricle is getting filled when the ventricle is getting filled the volume initially it is going to what is happening the volume is going to increase because blood is flowing into the ventricles so let's say the volume becomes 
130 let's say the volume becomes 130 ml right so 80 ml has been added 80 ml it has been added to the left ventricle it has been added to the left ventricle so this is the period of ventricular filling in which you have initially you have rapid filling 50% then you have slow filling and then you have atrial kick then you have atrial kick so during this time there is not a lot of things is not happening then what happens once that is done your mitral valve it is going to close your mitral valve it is going to close when the atria start contracting and after this you will have the beginning of isovolumetric contraction isovolumetric contraction so the volume is remaining same as you can see between c and d volume is remaining same and the pressure it is increasing that is why it is part of systole because the pressure is increasing so wherever pressure is increasing that is systole and wherever pressure starts to decrease that is diastole right after that what happens you have a period of filling then there is a period of rapid ejection period of rapid ejection followed by a period of slow ejection right during this the volume is going to decrease the volume it is going to decrease why because the ventricles they are getting empty the blood is going to the aorta right and when does ejection start when the semilunar valve opens and when does ejection end when the semilunar valve closes and this phase is also called as proto diastole you have started with proto diastole here okay after that after proto diastole you have isovolumetric relaxation you have isovolumetric relaxation so everything that is there between the negative slope okay now i'll try and understand that you can understand all the phases here in the in this particular diagram what are the calculations you can do from this diagram what are the calculations you can do from this diagram let's also understand that let's also understand that okay so first thing that sometimes they draw this image for you and they ask which valve is opening when or which valve is closing when so i have already written that in the diagram okay so mitral valve it closes just before isovolumetric contraction mitral valve opens before ventricular filling aortic valve opens before ejection phase right and aortic valve closes just before isovolumetric relaxation right everything below this line is diastole everything above this line is systole all right and one more thing the area under the curve the area under the curve the entire area under curve of this diagram right this shaded area that i am showing to you that is called as work done that is the work done by the heart so let's say it is given to you you will be able to calculate what is the work done by the heart right one more quantity that you can determine is the stroke volume right so difference between c and a that is the stroke volume c minus a it is equal to stroke volume and stroke volume it can be very useful because see this very carefully if this is the curve okay this is the filling so this is called as end systolic volume and this is end diastolic volume and the difference end diastolic volume minus end systolic volume that is called as stroke volume and the ratio of stroke volume to end diastolic volume it is called as ejection fraction and it should be between 55 to 65% it should be between 55 to 65% okay so what are the things that i have told you what all can you calculate from that curve what all can you calculate from that curve first you can calculate end diastolic volume second you can calculate end systolic volume third you can calculate stroke volume that is equal to end diastolic volume minus end stroke systolic volume fourth thing that you can calculate is ejection fraction that is stroke volume divided by end diastolic volume so that should normally be between 55 to 65% okay and if you are able to calculate this you can determine if the heart is pumping efficiently or not so this is a very important parameter for the pumping of the heart pumping efficiency of the heart last thing that you can calculate is the work done work done right and that is the area under curve area under okay so please keep in mind please keep in mind then when we talk about area under the curve when we talk about area under the curve we are talking about this area in between these lines in between these lines okay if you include if you include this area also if you include this area also this represents the potential energy of the heart this represents the potential energy of the heart 
what is the meaning of the potential energy of the heart it means that if the heart if you completely make it empty if you completely make it empty that means that the end systolic volume if you take it to be right ye pressure idhar ko nahi dekhenge sorry ye potential energy idhar ko jayegi right so if you take this area entire area under the curve then in that particular case in that particular case you are going to say that that is the potential that extra energy that extra energy is the potential energy of the heart and what is the potential energy of the heart if the heart pumps entire amount of blood all the blood that is has it does not leave any volume there is no end systolic volume end systolic volume becomes zero end systolic volume becomes zero that is called as that is called as potential energy of the heart ठीक है, so I have told you one more concept here that is potential energy of the heart, potential energy of ठीक है, so from where does heart get its energy? From where does heart gets its energy? Right, so heart gets over eighty percent of its energy from fatty acids. That's a very important point. That heart it relies mainly on fatty acids for energy, and only twenty percent of the energy it is coming from glucose. Only a mere Twenty percent fraction. It is coming from glucose. Eighty percent is coming from fatty acids, and there is something called as a tension time index. Tension time index, which means that how quickly, how quickly the heart is developing tension. Tension basically means force. Tension versus time. So if tension time curve, it's very fast. That means that more energy will be consumed, which means that the heart is contracting very fast. Okay. So you can obviously imagine if you are doing exercise, you are running fast. Your heart rate is contracting fast. In very less amount of time, you are generating a lot of tension. It means that your heart is going to utilize more and more energy. Your heart is going to utilize more and more energy. And if it is contracting slowly, it will obviously need less energy. Last point is regarding efficiency of cardiac contraction. That is equal to work done divided by chemical expenditure. Chemical expenditure. Right. so that can be a question that can be given to you it can be given in a numerical form also it can be given in a numerical form also right and the cardiac efficiency the cardiac efficiency what is it going to be normally normally the maximum efficiency of a normal heart it is 20 to 25% it is approximately 20 to 25% right but if you have heart failure it can be as low as 5% okay so if it is becoming low that means your heart is becoming inefficient okay so that is regarding efficiency of cardiac contraction so guys i hope you guys have understood each and every point i have stressed everything so many times that you guys should not have any difficulty in understanding at least hai na and uh, humble request to you please remember to hit the like button when you stop watching this video remember to subscribe to the channel let's crack neat pg the telegram channel link it is there in the description t.me slash let's crack neat pg okay you can also drop a comment once the video stops streaming hit the bell icon for notifications okay okay could i give an example okay i'll give you an example of a question that is framed okay let's take this graph let's say in a picture they give you this graph okay let's say in a picture i give you this graph the question says you have a 50 year old man suffers from left heart failure suffers from left heart failure right area under the curve area under the curve is given to you as 10 joules it's given to you as 10 joules right then it is given oxygen consumption of the heart oxygen consumption of the heart is mainly right. 
आई एम गिविंग यू डायरेक्टली एनर्जी यूज एनर्जी यूज एज ए टी पी एनर्जी यूज एज ए टी पी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड जूल कैलकुलेट एफिशियंसी ऑफ दी हार्ट कैलकुलेट एफिशियंसी ऑफ दी हार्ट नाउ दिस बिकम्स अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन ओके द रीजन इज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू फ्रेम अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज अनरियलिस्टिक आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू फ्रेम अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज अनरियलिस्टिक यू विल सिंपली कैलकुलेट यूर टेन डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड इन टू हंड्रेड सो यू विल गेट यूर आंसर एफिशियंसी इज टेन परसेंट एफिशियंसी इज टेन परसेंट राइट दैट इज द वे टू सॉल्व इट नाउ वॉट एल्स मे माइट बी गिवन टू यू दे माइट डू वन थिंग दे माइट गिव यू दिस ए एंड दे माइट गिव यू सी राइट एंड दे मे आस्क यू टू कैलकुलेट स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम दे मे आस्क यू कैलकुलेट स्ट्रोक वॉल्यूम और दे मे आस्क यू टू दे मे नॉट गिव यू एरिया ए सी डी एफ डायरेक्टली दे मे हेल्प यू दे मे गिव यू सम वैल्यूज एंड देन यू हैव टू अप्लाई सम जोमेट्री टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया राइट वॉट एल्स कैन बी डन फॉर एफिशियंसी फॉर एफिशियंसी वॉट एल्स आई कैन डू इज टोटल एनर्जी एक्सपेंडिचर टोटल केमिकल एनर्जी टोटल ए टी पी एनर्जी एक्सपेंडिचर वॉट दे माइट डू इज दे माइट से दे माइट से ठीक है दे माइट से दैट दिस इज दी हार्ट दिस इज दी हार्ट दिस इज द वेना कावा दिस इज द वेना कावा एंड दिस इज दी आयोटा दिस इज दी आयोटा ओके और लेट से दिस इज द पल्मनरी वेन लेट से दिस इज द पल्मनरी वेन दैट इज ब्रिंगिंग ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम दी लंग दिस इज द पल्मनरी वेन सो दी ऑक्सीजन द पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन और द अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन द अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन द पल्मनरी वेन लेट से इट इज गिवन एज ट्वेंटी एम एल लेट से इट इज गिवन एज ट्वेंटी एम एल राइट इन अ पर्टिक्युलर गिवन वॉल्यूम ऑफ द ब्लड दैट इज कमिंग it is let's say 20 ml per 100 ml of blood per 100 ml of blood and the oxygen in the aorta is 19 ml per 100 ml of the blood right so what is the oxygen utilization it is 1 ml per deciliter of blood 1 ml per deciliter of the blood and they might give you that 1 ml of blood usage gives approximately 100 joule of energy it gives 100 joule of energy right so in that way they might give you indirectly what is the energy expenditure and then you have to calculate the efficiency right so that is one way that the question can come theek okay? hai so you understand how to solve a little bit kuch samajh aaya because cardiac cycle only if you understand cardiac cycle you will understand heart sounds only if you understand cardiac cycle you will understand biggers diagram theek okay? hai so you understood what is cardiac cycle diastole systole what is the duration what is the effect of exercise what are the phases right this entire diagram is clear to you eight phases of the cardiac cycle how are they divided three phases of systole three five phases of diastole what are the durations that you have to remember theek okay? hai how does it appear in terms of valves right what is the pressure volume diagram and what are the various numericals that you can get from this particular portion okay efficiency of the heart energy utilization of the heart okay so take care remember to like subscribe share subscribe on telegram hit the bell icon and you can also use my referral code to take a subscription i can quickly remind you that we have two offers going on which are limited time the iconic subscription for 3 years you will get it for 58500 for 2 years 49500 one year for 40500 all you have to do is use my referral code chetanya10 and you can also take a plus subscription which is where we have a 3 plus 1 offer going on where you will get one month free if you take a three month plan i will say go for the iconic subscription take the three year plan and keep your preparation ready for next neat pg fmg step 1 whatever you are doing for 3 years at least chana keep that boost there and you will be able to do wonders okay take care guys bye bye